June 10th, 2018, we found out that our daughter had stage four um, neuroblastoma, which is a cancer. And uh, it really changed our lives, shattered, shattered our lives, the lives as we know it. For a little over a year, uh, we have been living our lives out of a suitcase. Lift your hands up. Can you lift your hands up in the air? Lift them high, high yeah. as you can. Man, today is um, the day that we start a short journey that's gonna end a long journey. There's absolutely nothing that can prepare you for a doctor to tell you that one, your child has cancer, but Two, it's stage four. It's really exciting because we get to head to Gainesville and do her final scan. And today we packed up for the last time and it feels really, really good. Tomorrow, um, after a year, a month and 13 days of treatment, she's gonna ring the bell. So we were very, very excited this morning. The journey has been uh, very long for the both of us. Uh, Clarence assumed the role of primary caregiver, and during that time, uh, I worked. And I woke up most mornings in Gainesville, woke up, drove two and a half hours to work, turned around, whether it was 11 o'clock at night, nine o'clock at night, went back to go to sleep with my baby and turned around the next day to do it all over again. The sun is my God, that is who you are. Oh, sing it, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. That was a very, very scary time for us. Uh, but me and Clarence, we made a pact early on that I would deal with the facts and he would deal with the faith. Both of us could not juggle the facts and still keep the faith. So he was that constant with the faith. I was the one that spoke to the doctors and I never told him anything that they were saying. Matter of fact, he didn't know that Jay was stage four until she was already cancer free. Darkness, my God, that is who you are. Come on one more time, Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. I can imagine that tomorrow, by the time we get to the bell ringing ceremony, I can I can feel the flood of emotions coming, man. But right now, I'm still I'm still in fight mode because we got a scan. I mean, there there is literally a scan that's going to take place at 9:30 this morning, and so we got to wait for the doctor. We got to wait to hear the doctor say that those scans are completely clear.
got done with her final scan so d y'all know i don't talk to the doctors remember i told you a long time ago that you know i deal with the faith d deals with the facts so right now they're talking about facts and what she's probably hearing right now is is that jay is cancer free and uh she'll be calling me in a minute so i'm gonna keep my hand on my phone she'll be calling me in a minute and uh telling me to meet them upstairs on the fourth floor and then shortly after that we're gonna ring the bell so this close this close. Well, we just got word that uh, Jay has just finished her last scan. He says she's on her way to her last appointment down here at Shands. And man, we are so excited that the Lord has brought this little girl through. And yay, we are so happy. And I'm ready for her to ring that bell. This no, day is amazing. Yeah. It is a culmination of over years promise of her being healed completely. So I'm just excited. I've never been so excited to hear a bell ring. I'm just thankful to God. It's, it's a great day. It's a great day.